<laughs> We've got some history to talk about right now, guys, uh, on our hometown tour. We're learning even more about Georgia history. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you know that uh, back when the Patriots declared their independence from England, Georgia was actually divided into eight counties. The original Richmond County included all of modern Richmond County, Columbia County, and McDuffie counties. But in 1777, all of that changed. WJBF News Channel 6's Courtney Elledge has the whole story. Courtney? In 1777, the Constitution provided for public buildings, a courthouse, and a jail to be built in each county. The commissioners entered into a contract with Benjamin View and William Chandler to construct the facilities at Brownsboro, close proximity to the North Columbia Elementary School. Uh, so that's kind of the origin of it all. Uh, and that's why the Appling ended up as the county seat back in those days. Martinez and Evans would develop as railroad towns in the 1890s. Historic Society member Pat Blanchard grew up in the county. His grandfather, John Pierce Blanchard, helped establish Columbia County. Uh, my grandfather, Blanchard, was a physician and a surgeon. Blanchard remembers Evans before the growth, when all there was to do was fly kites at the large Marshall family hayfields. Blanchard also remembers social changes and even technological adjustments in the past decade, such as the way you vote. I remember the days when you voted in the, with the machines. And of course, it, I think it was probably in the middle of the morning hours before they really knew the totals. Blanchard remembers Evans when it was nothing but rolling fields and the only school took up the land long before the government complex and this courthouse were established. Well, judge Franklin Pierce, who was a Superior Court judge, ordered the county commission to update the courthouse in Appling to renovate it. And at that time, the county commissioners and the other county leaders began looking at uh, county offices in this region of the county. In the mid-1950s, the southern part of Columbia County, specifically Evans, became an expanding housing community. It's the memories and great people that leave native Pat Blanchard honored to walk the grounds in Evans named after General Clement A. Evans, a soldier, lawyer, minister, and statesman of his time. Have a great one. And you know, it's so nice to actually hear from Pat Blanchard. He has so much information about this county and has been such an asset to this entire area. One of the first men I met when we moved here back in 1995, and he certainly is a great ambassador, not just for Columbia County, for Augusta, for the whole area. Absolutely. Good to see him today.